I hope my voice can good. Uh, we are still waiting for YouTube to launch too. We are already live on Ramble. Shalom, everybody. But for some reason, YouTube is not launching yet. All right. All right, shalom everybody, we are live on air. And as usual, we are live in three locations, in Ramble, YouTube, and Discord. Now, Discord, for those who like to join us from the Muslims, so they can share their opinion with us. Uh, before we start, we have an idiot in the chat. His name is 77. Uh, I think this is the guy who believes in having multiple wives. And he posed for us second chronicle. And uh, supposedly that would prove that uh, God approve uh, having multiple wife. I have to say to you, my friend, you are an idiot. Because that book is a book of tradition. And this is what the Jews are saying about the man. And they are not approving and nowhere God approving him to have multiple wife. So again, you are stupid. You are desperate to find where we can find multiple wives. People do things and... When when God say you can do it, then God said, if I say this man was a great man, it doesn't mean that uh, God approved everything he said. Or he did. Uh, if, if somebody says a Christian prince, he pleased uh, God by his action, it doesn't mean that Christian prince was not a sinner. You're an idiot, my friend. So this is a book of tradition. And about the king David, you are an idiot again. Because God, he said, for the future king of Israel, you shall not multiply your wives. You shall not. So this is whoever is going to be a king for Israel. This is a command. And the God command is a command. So you are again an idiot. You take things out of context to make a context. And we laugh at you. Because simply you are pervert. And you try to justify somebody doing pervert act a person a person who go after uh, uh, having multiple wives it, the first question we need to ask ourselves what is exactly was the purpose do a man need multiple is that like is that he's serving god by having multiple wives is that like would do something are you muhammad trying to spread islam by uh, having multiple wives so this is again another stupid uh, uh, argument. And when you say to me, go to Genesis, talking about Abraham, again, you are an idiot. Abraham did not obey God when he did that there. If Abraham was patient, God will deliver him children from his old women. So Abraham, he could not believe that his old wife is going to have children for him. And this is why he did marry. This is why he spent all his life not marrying another woman. There's many women. Abraham at that time, he became wealthy and he have all the wealth to, and who is going to stop him from having many wives? Yet he have only one, second one, for the purpose of having children. Again, you are an idiot. Again, potatoes and pervert, they have no place here. So don't come here again. All right? Pervert. You are a pervert dog. You are following your penis. And there is many people like you. You are a penis worshipper. There is no need for the man to have multiple wives unless he is a penis worshipper. What one woman can do, the two women cannot. Or the three women, or the four women. That is reality. Alright? So we got you busted and you are a potato. Now we go back to our topic. Who killed Prophet? No, honestly, this is how it is. You know, people, they can give it a second wife, you know, give it names, you know. But the reality is, a man, when I have multiple wives, he is a penis man. He is thinking now about his penis. His head is not about God. doesn't matter what the name of the man, you know. 
In the case of Abraham, we know that this guy wouldn't have children. He became so old, his wife became so old. So Abraham was not a penis man. No, this is not his purpose. He lost hope that he will have children. For it's not normal for a woman in the age of Sarah to give children. That's it. So now he knew, I am soon will die. My wife, she is old. So what, what we will do? You know, who is going to support us? You know, having children in the old days was your social security. So like now you have retirement, you know, uh, from the government and you have protection from the government. So if something happened, you call the police, you know, they have to protect you. Uh, you are retired, you get paid by the government because you pay tax on your life. In the old days, all this luxury, if we can call it, does not exist. So your children is your security your physical security and your finance security and even your health assistant. So for that reason, the, the, you know, uh, people, not long time ago, I mean, even, even like in the Middle East, because the system there is very damaged and corrupt, the only security you have is having many kids. That's why people, they have many kids, not because they love to have kids, but because it is the only social security system is available and it's not expensive so you will have kids and then those kids will support you when you get older they'll protect you if somebody tried to hurt you so it was for a purpose but having multiple wives and you do not you have kids already and you have a wife i mean why you want to do that simply because you are sexually possessed and nothing is enough for you it's your greed so when david even though he is a great name as a his in history of the jewish uh, people but who said that he was not a sinner we can read the bible and we see how god condemned him left and right so we go back to our topic who killed prophet muhammad police be upon him and remember here it's not us who come with the, you know, a theory of Muhammad, uh, you know, being assassinated. Muhammad, he come from that, and the Muslim come from that too. As an example, this is a Muslim Shia Sheikh. He confirmed how Muhammad was, that he was killed and assassinated. Therefore, they believe he died a natural death. But in fact, he had been assassinated. This fact should not come as a surprise to anyone, given the fact that the Holy Quran had predicted it clearly in chapter Al Imran, as Allah the Almighty said, "Wama Muhammadun illa Rasulun qad khalat min qabli al-Rusul, afaimat aw qutilan qalabtum ala aqabikum." ومن ينقلب على عقبيه فلن يضر الله شيئا وسيجزي الله الشاكرين. And Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. If then he died or was killed, would you? <laughs> and here you see how funny, how stupid Islam is. This guy he just said, the Quran predicted how Muhammad will die in this verse. But the verse says if Muhammad died or get killed, is there a third option? I mean, how this is prediction? Like, imagine you ask me, hey, prophet, Christian prince, uh, I heard you call yourself Arabian prophet. Can you make a prophecy for me about my death? I say to you, you are going to either to die normally or you are going to be killed. Like, what the heck is that? How that is a prediction? Is there the third option? Like, hey, Christian Prince, can you predict the gender of my coming baby? Well, is either it's going to be a girl or a boy. Is that a prediction, really? However, if you watch the video, and I have the link for it, this man, he do his best to prove that the one who killed Muhammad is Aisha and Hafsa. However, Muhammad himself, he made it clear that the one who killed him is the Jews.
So Muhammad he confirmed, and this is a very authentic hadith, that when his in his element which he died, he used to say, and here you see the word used, which mean Muhammad never stopped saying the same thing. Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as my orta being is being cut off from bad poison, and then Muhammad died. So Muhammad confirmed that since the point of death until the point of uh, uh, since the point he took the the uh, the poison until he died, this is the reasoning. So let us see if we have any Muslim. Look like we have a Muslim. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. Uh, yes, Nora, how are you doing? I'm fine, how about you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us, Nora? Uh, I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to ask a question that someone doesn't feel comfort comfortable asking, so I'm asking for him. He's in the VC right now. Okay, what uh, is the so, question? Okay, give me a minute because she wrote it to me somewhere. Um, okay, so he told me that uh, some person came up to him and he looked kind of evil and he had the feeling that uh, it was a demon inside of that person he saw, but he didn't do anything until his friend came. So uh, and, uh, I don't understand. Like he saw that, like in a dream, or what he saw. Uh, I think in a dream, in a nightmare. He said. Yeah, that actually. mean that mean he saw me because I look so bad. You know, just tell your friend he saw, you saw Christian Prince in your dream, and that's why you get scared. You know, uh, uh, Nora. People they see things, dreams. You know, you watch a movie, a terror movie. You see Christian Prince. You go to sleep. Then you will see bad things. You know. So uh, your friend, he saw something, not necessarily he saw really a demon or, you know, it's just a dream. And, uh, you know, properly he was watching a Christian Prince movie, you know. Uh, where I want to end up by what he told me was uh, from something, because he saw some videos and he thought that that was, that has a meaning. He's Christian, he's not Muslim. Uh, but I don't know. He told me to ask to ask about this. That's why. Yeah, but you know, this those uh, people. I don't know what people are seeing. Uh, but this this is nothing important, really. People see dreams every day, and uh, uh, sometimes you see yourself chased by a monster. Sometimes you see. I mean, whatever people. There is a reason for those dreams usually, like people they see. A bad, uh, scary movie or something, you know, like made made uh, made those images come to their mind. Or if you are thinking about, let us say, you think about death uh, before you sleep, and then you see a dream about death. So I don't, uh, you know, I don't take those things seriously. Uh, okay, but just because he told me to, can he can I finish what I was saying on what he said All anyway right. because All right. Okay, so basically one minute because he's texting me right now. All right, so basically he saw that nightmare and he thought that person was a demon and uh when he was trying to spell Jesus' name he just pulled him. He just tried to outcast demons from what he told. So he's here right now. So if you can tell him, like, I'm just talking for him. Yeah, I, so, you know, I don't, I don't take those things, uh, as I said, uh, seriously. I think he is just imagining things. Uh, uh, especially you mentioned to me that he was like in dreaming. So it's just a dream. You know, don't think about it much, and don't worry about it. You know, you 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 go to Walmart, you will see a lot of people look like, like demons. You know, you know, uh, you watch TV, you will see people look like demons. You know, people are in drugs, people are, uh, you know, having a million tattoo in their body. Uh, so, 
there's a scary things around us everywhere. Uh, but if you think about something and uh, that thing will come to your mind in your dreams usually. So don't take it seriously. Okay, thank you for so much for your you're, answer. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, have a nice day and thank you for hearing me. You're welcome. Yeah, you know those dreams. Uh, I mean, like, it can happen that we see a vision from God. It can happen. But those things usually is something happened because you are thinking about something already. And uh, the dream usually is is, uh, is something you think about. You know, like somebody, a, a girl, she is thinking about getting married. So what she see in her dream? She see herself getting married. Uh, very simple, you know. Dreams usually is uh, a wish, something you are wishing for, or something you are afraid of. Either you are wishing for to happen, or something you are afraid of. So if you are wishing to get rich, let us say, then you see yourself being rich, you know, nice villas, whatever, you know. Uh, if you fear something, that thing will come to your dream. Uh, anyway, going back to our topic. Uh, Lil Nilo, who is the idiot who invited this donkey? Get him out of here. Block him, actually. Who is the one invited him? Who is the donkey invited him? Don't you see what he's saying? Block him. Potato. Don't you see his text? He's just an idiot. You will give me Christian Prince location. You son of Muta. You dare even to say hello to me. You will make pee, -pee in your pants if you see me. Anyway, going back to our topic. Hey Muslims, I challenge you all of you potatoes. Who want to come to me? I mean, do you think really I'm scared of you potato sons of Muta? Your God himself don't dare to come to me. And you want to make a threat to me, you potato? I am the last one ever you can imagine. You can intimidate. In fact, when you try to do that, I do more. Here we go. I pee on your prophet, what you can do about it. You just forced me to say that. I want to see what you can do about it. And then after that, I'm going to take my pee and wash it. For you made, your prophet made my pee dirty. You want to try to intimidate me? Are you stupid? Do you think somebody is afraid of your garbage? He will write many books. He will make hundreds of thousands of videos about your filthy prophet. Do you think really you can intimidate me, you potato? <laughs> Anyway, so the prophet in his element, which he died, used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. At this time, I feel as on my aorta being cut off from that poison. Now, this hadith here, which is very authentic, as you see, this is Al-Bukhari, confirmed that Muhammad himself acknowledged that his death happened because of the Jews. Khaybar is a tribe of a Jew. This guy here in the video, he is doing his best to prove that the one who killed Muhammad is two women. They are his wives, Aisha and Hafsa. And, you know, we understand the Shia, they hate Aisha and Hafsa. They hate them and they hate their fathers. So there is a lot of enmity behind this accusation. However, it can be true. I, I don't take it to zero. I don't say, well, it is not them. But the, the only proof we have, which is coming in the books of the Muslim Sunni, Aisha, she said. But here you need to consider, if the Shia is saying that Aisha is the one who killed Muhammad, so it is possible that Aisha is fabricating this hadith 
so she can point her finger at the Jews and nobody point his finger at her. Are you getting my point? So as long the one who reported this, like who is the one who reported this? Aisha. But she is the one is accused too of killing Muhammad. So this evidence here can be used only for those who believe, the Sunni, who believe that Aisha, she was a good woman and she will never do so. All right. So uh, uh, the most approved evidence by the Muhammadans is Muhammad being killed by the Jewish women who gave him poison when he or he ate the goat and the funny is when Muhammad he asked the Jewish women why you did that she said well if you are a false prophet you will get rid of you if you are a true prophet Allah your God will protect you Muhammad he said to her Allah will not allow you to do so Allah will not allow you to do so so Muhammad here he failed the test because Muhammad he confirmed that Allah will not allow her to succeed in her mission to kill him because if she was able to kill him that means that he is a false prophet he is just a gang leader as she said but if his God saved him then he is not a false prophet so this hadith here confirmed many things confirmed that Muhammad is a false prophet for he challenged the women, saying to her, Allah will not allow you to do so, to kill me, because simply, I am not a false prophet. But as you see, Muhammad, he confirmed his death. Other issue, the hadith here confirm the, the way Allah will punish Muhammad, which mentioned in the Quran, if Muhammad have, he fabricated Quran, as we see in chapter 69, verse number 45 and 46 and 44. If Muhammad, he fabricated false saying concerning us, Allah, surely we will size him by his right hand. And remember Muhammad, he ate and he always ate by his right hand. And then certainly would have cut off his life artery. And now Muhammad confirming how he died. I feel as if my order being cut off from that poison. But the important today in my topic here, if the Muslim believe in destiny, because the Muslims, the Muhammadan believe that any bad happened to you, it happened not except by the will of Allah. All those verses confirming one thing that Allah he make you uh, let us say have a calamity or bad things happen misfortune because what your hand have earned at least in this verse here chapter 42 Verse number 30. However, in different verse, the God of Islam, he contradict himself by saying that those are nothing but misfortune, not because of your doing, but because it is Allah will. So, no calamity be fails but with the leaves of Allah. And then here we need to ask ourselves, Muhammad died based on this. You see here the say decision and qadr. Qadr mean predetermined destiny. Based on the belief in, on Muhammad or Muhammad belief. It was destiny for Muhammad to be killed 
by poison. The question is, why? Any Muslim would like to invite, you know, to join us? Why Allah predestined Muhammad to be killed by poison? Any Muhammadan? Remember, Allah, according to Muslims, He saved Jesus. From who? From the hand of the Jews, the same people. So based on this, in Islam, Allah, He predestined Muhammad to die by the hand of the Jews and predestined Jesus not to be killed by anyone. Muhammad for Muslims, according to them, he is the most beloved person to Allah to the point the first thing Allah he did when he made his chair, he wrote the name of Muhammad on it, which means Allah is a graffiti boy. Like those street boys who go in the street and they make a graffiti. In fact, the hadith says that the reason Allah have a throne is just to write the name of Muhammad in it. And we can show the reference for that too. So, Muhammad, who is the most beloved person to Allah, the one who Allah wrote his name on his throne. I heard even have a tattoo on Allah, he, have, he wrote a tattoo on himself. I don't know if this is true or not, because it looked like he is obsessed with Muhammad. So why the one who is obsessed with Muhammad, he caused him to die in a such a way, and he is the one who made his destiny to die this way. And if this is the destiny, that means Allah is the one who destined that that woman who did poison Muhammad to do it. Right? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan, our Discord is open. And the funny that Muhammad, he said to that woman, when she gave him the poison in the food, Allah will not allow you to do so. But yet Muhammad, he commanded his, the, his, his companions to make a hole in his neck and they start sucking the blood out of it. How Allah will not allow you, and then how you don't trust Allah to save you, and you yourself, you try your best to bleed out the poison you ate. Obviously, Muhammad is a liar. Otherwise, if he is sure Allah will not allow it to happen, you do not need to bleed yourself out so you can save yourself from the poison either allah will save you or allah will not any muhammadan any abdul this is a very important uh, uh, issue in Islam, this is alone actually is enough to prove Muhammad as a false prophet. You can read what Muhammad he said to the women, what the women she said to Muhammad, and how she said to him, I decided to put poison for you to see. If you are a true prophet, Allah will save you. If you are a false prophet, you will die. And Muhammad, he confirmed saying, Allah will not allow you to do so. So Muhammad here, he made another false prophecies because he said, Allah will not allow you to do so. But as you see, if you believe in Allah,
Allah allow her to do so. Which means the women, she was right. Muhammad is a false prophet. Any Muhammadan? Don't be afraid. I mean, if your God is the God of the truth, your God will stand with you. He will put wisdom in your mouth. And you will defeat all accusations against your prophet. But if you know that your God cannot be standing with you, then you will not jump and try to defend. Why you did put poison for the prophet? The answer is very simple. Read with me and laugh. Have you, Muhammad said, Poison the sheep, the sheep. They said yes. He asked, "What made you do so?" They said, "We wanted to know if you are a liar. Which case would get rid of you? And if you are a prophet, the poison would not harm you." Do you see it, Muslims? And then, if we read the continue of the story. You will see Muhammad, he answered them saying, Allah will not allow you to do so. Mahmoud saying, Mahmoud trying to change the topic, why the Bible allow you to marry the rapist? Hey Mahmoud, if I show you your prophet making you marry the, rabbit, the, the, the rapist, what you would do? In the front of everybody. In the Bible it says that if a man either and he cannot divorce her if this is even if the family approved such a marriage because what would happen this girl nobody will marry her those are very very uh, you know tough society the women she have been raped her reputation is destroyed and nobody will marry her so the man who think he can get away with his crimes either he is going to be killed or he have to marry her if she agreed and they accept and he cannot divorce her ever. However, I challenge you to join me right now, and I will show you how your religion promote marrying the rapist. Isn't it your prophet? He married the ra he raped Sophia and he married her. <laughs> I mean, look who's talking about rapist. <laughs> isn't it your pro isn't it Omar al Khattab, a woman? She came to him and she said, "This man he raped me." He forced me, I was dying in the desert. He forced me to take off my panties so he can rape me. What Omar said, oh, this is a mahar, mahar. This is within, this is marriage. <laughs> Come here, let us love, potato. Look who is talking about rapes. Huh? Half of your prophet wives are raped, including Aisha. <laughs> potatoes so guys here the topic important because when Muhammad he said to them Allah will not allow you to do so then why Allah allow it to happen go ahead Masri I'm wrong person bro I'm not Muslim all sorry right. all right uh, H are you a Muslim yeah Christian Prince why are you talking about rape and rape is a lot in the Bible there's a lot of rape in the Bible really Yes, have you read the okay. Bible? Okay, you know what? I thought uh, that is really... So are you saying the Bible is uh, doing something bad as your prophets did? Uh, no, but Jesus did. If you read Numbers, you could tell that Jesus... Oh, okay, no problem. Speak little virgin girls. Okay, no, 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 hold verses, on, hold on, hold on. You see, verses. if you read Numbers, if you read Numbers, you will see it doesn't say what you are saying, you are a liar. Secondly, it says you keep them for yourself, right? And they have to be virgin. Yeah. But it doesn't say, yeah. can you show me where it says you can rape them? But I can show you right now from your Quran, raping yeah. married women. Mar raping okay, yeah. married women. You have your Bible? Yeah, go ahead. Open Zach Zachariah 14 too. Okay. And read it. And wait, 
What translation? Because you believe in a hundred translations. Which translation? No problem. Zechariah, read for me, Zechariah. Zechariah, what you said? Fourteen two. Okay, read it. Okay, no problem. Give me a second. I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem for battle. The city will be taken, houses will be plundered, women raped. Half the city will go into exile, but the rest of the people will not be removed from the city. Okay, so is, oh, you see how stupid you are. Here, this is this this is what will happen to them, you idiot. This is not what the Jews so will do. God's allowing rape. God okay, is allowing so, rape. Okay, and hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. So, aren't you Muslim? Hold, is... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So God, He said to them, "I will take my protection from you because you are not following me, with me, prophesying what people will do to them." But in your Quran, you idiot, you saying your God. He says you can rape married women. Do you want me to show you the show reference? Me, show me, where, sh show me, show me. It does not. There's no word rape in the Quran. You fucking liar. Okay, don't use the F word. Otherwise, I will wipe the floor with your prophet. I'm, I'm warning you. Did you not swear yourself? You wanna, you wanna insult? You wanna say the F word? I will, uh, I, I will not use the F. Hold on. Doesn't say in the Quran that it's forbidden for you, married women, except your captives. Where does it say that? There's no, there's no rape. Remember, guys, he said. He said, he said the F word. I showed you the word. Okay, rape. hold on. -E -E. No, you did, no, you did not show me anything but about what? Uh, uh, I showed what? you. No, no, no. What you showed Numbers me, 30, you showed Numbers me, 31. you idiot, you showed me this is a punishment for the Jews. God will not protect them. So now here, chapter well, 4, shut up, Rapist chapter punishment? 4, Mr. F word. <laughs> chapter 4, Rapist verse 24, punishment. it says, it's forbidden for you, women already married, except... The one you kidnap them from their husband. You read it. What does it say? Kidnap from your husband. It says. It says married women. <laughs> you stupid idiot! It's in the front of you. It says married women. It says except forbidden. It forbidden for you married women except those married women who you kidnap them from their husband. Read it. Yeah, prison. Uh -huh. You're talking about prison of war, right? Prison ah, of war. Ah, so you see, guys, rape. As long as it's a prison of rape, war, idiot. it's okay. You see, you see the rape. coward. He said, you "This is not a true. It's not exist in the Quran." But now, so yeah, now, no you can, so now you kidnap a woman from her husband and you rape her. That's not kidnap. This That's is not, not kidnap. This is not rape. <laughs> this is not kidnap. No, no, hold not. on, hold on. Okay, let us see. So, let us see. Let us see. Let us see if this kidnap or not. Here we go. Read with me. Okay, okay read with me. This is a story. So I will put the story here. It says that your prophet, he attacked people, they never did anything to him when they are not aware. And then, hold on, potato, potato, okay. And then he killed all the men, he killed all the men, and he took all the women, you know? It's called war. And he raped, and he raped, he took, he took, he took the most pretty, she was just married, she was a bride, he killed her husband, he killed her father, he killed her brother, and he raped her. And not only that, he took, and hold on, first, first, the one who raped her first, it was Dahiel Kalbi, and then Muhammad exchanged her with four other women to Dahiya, or seven, And he depends on the story. So read with me carefully. Your prophet, he attacked them when they are not aware. And he took their money and their, their women and their animals. Those people did not fight Muhammad. Oh. <laughs> it says their women, their women and children were taken as captives. Where does it say rape, you idiot? Is it your prophet? He took the the, the, the daughter of those people as yes, a... Yes, because you're not... It's, you just it's shut up, son of listen, Muta. Christian so friends, shut up. Talk. Just get yeah. out of here, Betito. I have no time for kids. Let your dad talk to me. So the coward, the son of Muta, people who do Muta, people who rape, look what Hamas did. You know, are you saying to me Hamas are bad? For sure they are not, according to you. They are following the, the, the religion of Allah, the scumbag. So when you come to me and you say the F4, that because your mom, she was if in whore. She did not teach you how to talk. If you have a good mother, you are talking supposedly about God and religion. And look what you are saying to me. If this is the language you use when you defend your God, what the language you use when you defend uh, yourself? Supposedly you are the religious person and you are using the F4. And you call me princes, and by the way, your prophet is the one who put eyeliner, he pissed like a woman, and he dressed women clothes. I can show you all the reference. And men, they used to kiss him down his belly. So look at those cowards.
They claim that the Bible approved rape, which is false. When this is the religion of the rapist and their prophet is the biggest rapist in history. Half of the women in his house, household, they were raped. Not to mention hundreds, nobody knows how many. They are just for fun and sex parties. And then they want to give you a lecturer about good and bad. So now we attack the neighbors who they are doing nothing to us and they are headless. We take the women, we take the children, and we kill the men. And we take the animals too, so we can make barbecue. That is Muhammad the thief. In the Bible, when you take a prisoner of war, you cannot sleep with her unless she marry you. And not only that, you cannot marry her directly. This is why they shave her their, their hair. So the man will not be attracted to this woman who is captured. And the reason the Jews, they do that, because the enemy did that to them. The enemy, they kidnap all the Jews. Not one, not two, not three. And the story in the book of Number, Yukawa, son of Muta, this is in the Quran. You can go and find it in the chapter of Al-Baqarah. Muslims, we have all your laundry. Remember, when you talk, you are talking to Christian prince. Those are stupid things you can go to and say into those, you know, uh, Western. Or two words in your stupid book. So, it's forbidden for you married women, except they are married. How? If they are married, how you are going to have sex with them? Who care? <laughs> that is your religion. That is your cult, your garbage. Right? The story about marrying the rape, I can show you right now that all Muslim countries practice rape marriage, like Muhammad. I can find you right now. Here we go. <laughs> Sons of Mutaz. You want to see and laugh? <laughs> Even raping kids, they, they, they forced the man to marry the, the, the kids who he raped. A kid, a kid, a child, not even a woman. All right. Let me show you your religion, you coward. Are you ready? Let us read together. Muhammad and Raider, you know, remember, you are talking to Christian prince. Potatoes. Read, there is no punishment for a rapist in Islam, and the man he have to pay her dowry and marry her. Read carefully, I will use the translation. This is the book, Sharh al Zarqani, ala muwatta al Imam Malik. Translation, let us translate the whole page, as long as it's small. So we better translate the whole page. Are you there, Abdul? Mr. Uh, uh, the one who is against marrying the rapist? Mm. So this is Imam Malik. 
And he is saying here that the one, the man who raped a woman, there's no punishment for him at all. He don't even have to marry her. He can only pay her dowry. He don't have to marry her. He ruled. Do you see the, the color? Guys, the line and color. He ruled in the case of women who've been raped, not injured. He have the one who raped her, he have to pay her her dowry. He must pay it to the one who did that to her. Yahya said, I heard Malik says in the matter with us regarding a man who rapes a woman, virgin or male. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> If she is a free, he must pay her dowry. If she is a female slave, then he do not, you know, he do not need to like he pay his price, like it's just a cow, you know. If she is a slave, he pay her price to the owner. And and the and the punishment for that, in fact, there is no punishment. So paying the money is the punishment. There's no punishment, and there is no punishment on the women. So there is no punishment for him or what he need to do. He pay the money. And there is no punishment for the women or the one who did that rape for her. This is your religion. Who won the reference? I will post the reference in Discord and Rumble. And maybe somebody can make a short link and post it, please. In YouTube because YouTube don't accept long link so next time when they say that to you you know how to answer them you see those cowards they you know they go and they search in the internet and they, the Bible allow this the Bible allow that but the second you show them they're stupid I mean the Muslim is the same as a camel he don't see his hump And he make fun of everybody pimple in his back. Do you understand? So he look at your back, you have a pimple. He tried to poke it. But he is a camel, he have a big hump in his back. He don't see it. And you will notice that the Muhammadan, they do their best to change the topic. But it doesn't matter, wherever you go, we are going to wipe the floor with your prophet. Who care? Do you think you were successful now by changing the topic to make Muhammad look better? No. <laughs> a pedophile, a rapist, a thief, even his followers accuse him of stealing underwear. I mean, look at what kind of companion. Imagine, guys, God forgive me for saying that, but imagine John accusing Jesus that he stole an underwear. Imagine. Then the first question you need to ask yourself, what kind of a group we are talking about? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> If the companions of Muhammad accusing him of stealing laundry, and the laundry is stolen from a Jewish man, from 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 the from their neighbors, so they go, they attack the neighbors, they take their money, and now they are fighting over underwear. Who took the underwear? And then Allah, He make a chapter about it. Talk to Hadi. Well, who's Hadi? Bring him. Let him come to the stage. So going back to our topic, which the Muslim trying to avoid, for this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. If those people, they say, we Christian Prince, you believe God was killed. Do you not believe God was killed? Thank you very much. I want you to tell me, and I want you to be sure that the one, hold on. Question. Okay, well, I'll answer the question. Are you saying to me, if he was not killed, that means he's God? Thank you very much. 
That means Jesus. That means hold on, hold on. Killed. That means Jesus in Islam is God, because Jesus in Islam never been killed. He's gonna come down. What? That's the stupidest logic I've ever heard. It's you who said that to me, guys. Is it him who said if Jesus got killed? That. It's you who said God cannot be killed. Well, Jesus cannot be killed in Islam. Nobody can kill him right now. His love. Yes. In, where is he? In, he's in heaven. So according to your according to your stupid logic, I know I am excited because Muslims are stupid. According to your he's stupid gonna, logic, he, he if Jesus is course. God, be he cannot be killed. <laughs> Listen. Why do you make your voice so much? Why Jesus? Why Jesus? You can I, can you tell? Can you tell everybody why Jesus can't be killed, but Muhammad killed by poison? By, by poison? He wasn't right? killed. The poison incident happened six twenty eight. He died six thirty two. So are you so saying? Are, okay, guys. He is saying so that his. You, so you are saying that your prophet is making a false statement. You're just you just love the why are you skipping the topic? You're God. Well, this is a topic. By, I guess you know it's, it is Roman. okay. Hold on. Don't it, you see? This is my topic about your prophet being killed. You came to You're me to talk about right. Jesus. So who is changing the topic? Yeah. Now listen, listen. Are you well, saying no? Right. No. When you say something, we'll go back to Jesus. <laughs> are you saying when yeah. when your prophet he said he died because of the poison? He was lying. He says as if, as if. I know you don't know English. English hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. What as if? What is the if? What is the if? Where is, where, hold on. In yeah. Arabic, where is the Arabic? What is the Arabic says as if? Can you show it to me? Why are you running to the Arabic? Because, in, because in Arabic, there's no as if, you idiot. <laughs> what did you say then? What did you say? What did you say? You, you stupid. It. You said to me, in English, it says as if. But in Arabic, there's no as if. You are, you're an Arab and you can read it and show me where it says as if. You're just running. You're running. You don't want to Potato, add to show me in show. Arabic where it says as if and you are the winner. Go ahead. What's, what's, <laughs> your, what's your point anyways? What's your point? My point is you're a donkey. You said to me, you're my prophet saying as if. God. Okay, listen, listen. I will go with the as if which does not exist. Not so now more. are you saying your prophet, he made a mistake by saying as if? And he is lying. Where does he say he died from poison? He said that. He said that the, the food I ate at Khaybar. <laughs> yeah, Khaybar was four years prior. Okay, no problem. Years. So are you saying to me your prophet four is... Years prior. Are you saying your prophet is he's so... Tricky, so guys, look at this. He is saying the prophet is so stupid to the point he think that the food he ate four years ago is killing him now. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Christian Princess, you have Google search of this. Search of Prophet Muhammad. Listen. Prophet isn't you who said? Isn't you who said four years after? So why your prophet is so stupid and you are so smart? How come it, your prophet did not notice? Your why your God did not? It, it, why your God Jews Muhammad? Your so God. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Listen. You, know, you, don't want to add that. you see, when we talk about Jesus, you switch to Muhammad. We talk about Muhammad, you switch to Jesus. Your prophet, your prophet, your prophet. That's the only topic so you, know, you can defend. Four All you know years, often. four years you know after the poison. Four years after the poison. You're a prophet, yeah. according to you, he was a foolish man to think he is dying because of the poison. Explain why he's foolish. He says but did he die from poison? Yes or no? He died or not by poison? Tell me. Yes, he did. No, he did not. Not by poison? He died from illness. Not by poison? He died from illness. Okay. So, guys, so, okay, hold on. He died, he died because what of illness. So you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He's a false prophet. He's a false prophet because if he do not even know how he is dying or how he will die, what kind of a prophet he is? <laughs> you just say you just say your the prophet okay, he died because you, of his illness. How did, how did, how did the so so why? Your God? Okay, uh, one by one. We can we can't talk in the same time. Please, please listen, listen, listen. We can't talk you're in the same. Shame. We can't talk in the same you're time. Shame. Hold on, but they don't just take it. It's okay. So now you're you're, pro you're a prophet. He think he died because of poison. Is that because he's a stupid or because Allah misguided him? What was your question? Oh, you, just swear. you have no So let me repeat the question. No okay, madness. slow, slow. Focus, focus. Don't be nervous. So when you're a prophet, yeah. he said. Are you gonna answer my question after? When, are you gonna when, my you're, question? A, when you're a prophet, you he said. Question? When you're a prophet, you don't said, answer questions. I, 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 okay. okay. What, all, you, all you do is ask oh, questions. Oh, okay, got, see, see. He don't. He want to. He don't want to talk about the topic. Oh, it's you mentioning. Okay. You want to. You want to go back to talk about Jesus. Yes, answer okay. why your God was killed by Jews in Rome. Thank you very and why much. Why he was crying but, on the cross? Okay, hold on. So Jesus, was he not crying? hold on. Jesus said in the Bible, nobody can take me. I lay down myself.
So now so we have suicide. we have the, why we have so now <laughs> Jesus suicide. so Jesus he said I lay down no 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 suicide but, uh, hold on okay Mister suicide Mister suicide. suicide you mentioned suicide. suicide okay I want you to say to me the one That's who the do, question, okay idiot. hold on hold on I want you to say the one who do suicide, do suicide I want you to say that the one who do suicide to himself is a filthy idiot say that. So did Jesus do suicide? Say that, say that. Say the one who do suicide to himself is a filthy suicide idiot. Is say haram that. In say that, say it's, that. It's haram. Say that. It's haram. 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 So why your prophet did it? Don't you know that so your stupid do prophet? Don't did you know that your prophet he tried to commit so suicide many times? <laughs> you, you can't even make up your mind. You your prophet, prophet he tried many times to commit suicide. Do. You said it is haram, brother. Haram. Yes, the one it. who will do it, he will go. The it's one who will do it, he will go to hell. So now, you don't know when English, you're a prophet, potato, when he you're a prophet, he did so that. Me. So listen, listen, answer everybody, not me. When you're a prophet, did haram. How you explain that to me? He tried no, to commit suicide. Don't switch the topic. You it's suicide. you who mentioned suicide. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, isn't it him who mentioned you know suicide? Is it him who mentioned suicide? <laughs> you're, the one, you're the one who said Jesus did suicide. You no, I did not did that. I did not say that. It's you who mentioned that. No, I say it, I say it that Jesus will yeah. not will not stop yeah. those who want to harm him. That's all. Well, so, continue, continue. However, you didn't say that. However, that. however, I that. hold on. But you're a prophet. Yeah. He tried to what jump you say? from the top. <laughs> you just <laughs> shut up, son of a yeah. kid. You see, guys, yeah. he's a prophet. Just go, go. Enough, enough spanking. You're a prophet. He tried to commit suicide many times. Literally. And each time his God sent the angel Jabril to save his ass, and he hold him from his panty. Oh, Muhammad, don't throw yourself from the top of the mount. You are a truly, truly prophet of Allah. <laughs> Which means Muhammad is trying to kill himself because he himself is the last one who believes that he is a prophet of God. He is the last one to believe in that. So how anyone will stupid to be stupid enough to believe that Muhammad is a prophet if Muhammad himself trying to kill himself? So keep talking, talking, changing the topic will not help you. If you say Jesus cannot be God because he was killed and God can, nobody can kill him, well, we agree. Nobody can kill God. They killed the flesh of Jesus and Jesus exists as God before the flesh. Jesus says, before Abraham I am. So before he is born with that flesh, the Messiah is exist. His existence have nothing to do with the flesh he is born by his birth from Mary. Nobody can kill God. So we believe in the living Jesus. The Bible says the Messiah was alive by the Spirit. He was alive. Even when he is supposed to be in the grave, he is alive by the Spirit. For our God is a Spirit, first of all. Your God is not. Your God is dead anyway. A God who don't have a Spirit, he does not exist. He is not alive. Spirit is the power of life and the power of creation. And the one who don't have life, you know, in him, he don't have a Spirit, he cannot give a Spirit. When Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide, And you say that this is haram. Why a prophet of God, excuse my voice, is not too good. I was talking to a Muslim family for a couple of hours. And I hope soon they will leave Islam. Why someone, you Muslim believe that committing suicide is haram, he is the last one to follow what is, you know, what is forbidden? Why he's doing it? A prophet of God, he want to kill himself? What kind of a prophet he is? I'm just trying to find you the hadith. To put it for you on the screen, but this website is not helping me. 
somehow it's been a slow and stupid website. It's not working. So as you see, the Muslim, they tried to change the topic. First, he came to speak about rape. He didn't want to talk about rape no more because we showed him in his religion that his prophet is a rapist and his Quran approved rape and the Bible is not saying what he is saying. Number two, he switched talking about Jesus being killed and he making fun of Jesus. This is why we say, remember, when the Muslim, they say to you, we believe in Jesus. No, they believe in a clown Jesus. They try to make Jesus look like a clown. You, there is no way a Muslim who respect Jesus as they claim, they will make fun of Jesus. Who oh, Jesus trying to commit suicide? <laughs> you know, there's no way a person who believe and respect Jesus, he would do that. But those are the clowns of Muhammad. They are a clown like their prophet. And their purpose of the whole idea of what he said is to disrespect Jesus so you don't think about him highly. <laughs> what kind of Jesus? He was a crying on the cross. Jesus was caught in the Old Testament. And just remember, the Quran says that Jesus can raise people from death. So how you can kill someone who himself, he can command life and death. When the Quran says that the Messiah, he resurrect people from death, even the, even the Muhammad, he said, the Messiah, he resurrected Sam, the son of Noah. Who? The son of Noah. We are talking about someone who died a couple of thousand of years ago. The Messiah, he commanded the sand. And Sam, the son of Noah, he came from dust. And he became a man. So how you can kill such a man? Who can command dust and bring the dead man from thousands of years ago into life? And speak to him. And this is your prophet. Muhammad, he, is, he stopped receiving Quran after the Waraqah he died. And this is telling us that the first Quran is written, was written by Waraqah ibn Nufal. The first one Muhammad he went to, 